What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. It's time to continue. So go ahead, rest at the site of grace. Of course, we're at the Forge of the Giants right now. And then pull up the Talk to Millennia prompt. Melina, excuse me. Millennia, Melina. Oh, man. The names that get so confusing in this game. But anyway, tell her you're ready to commit. Um, she is going to effectively sacrifice herself to become kindling. And then that's going to burn the world tree. Um, if at this point you've decided you're going to do the Lord of Frenzy route already, um, instead of her burning the word tree, you burn the world tree. Of course, you get the Erd Tree Flame achievement for doing that. Um, but anyway, you know, just, it, I mean, either she, even with the Lord of Frenzy ending, you get like a bonus little cutscene where she's like, I will hunt you down and kill you. And you can find that on the original Let's Play. Um, but, you know, we're, we're going to be getting all the endings. So I don't think we... I don't know if we get that cutscene with the frenzy ending if we let her burn herself now. We probably still do because cutscenes are usually like that. But anyway, welcome to Full Missoula. So, uh, this place is... This place is pretty spicy. Grab a smithing eight right here. Drop down. It should be a rune nine. Drop down. And then we have some beastmen. Um... My rune effect active real fast. Now, for the Beastmen, uh, great shield counters are going to be great, obviously. You can also parry these dudes. But in general, these guys, they, they pack a punch. Uh, you know, we fought a couple of them previously when we have warped down to this area. And now this is going to be your first real taste of what it's actually like fighting them. At this point, our damage is going to be more than sufficient, as you can see. So we shouldn't have any issue taking them out. But just keep in mind that, you know, these guys, they when they hit, they're going to hurt. If you're going to do the counter, make sure they bounce off the weapon first. Or bounce off the shield first. I mean, technically, it is still bouncing off of a weapon. If you're not going to do the shield, make sure you're just going real hard on hitting them. Because as you can see, I mean, these guys, they, they hurt. The last thing you want to do is... Uh, give them a chance to do you dirty. Uh, so we kill them. There should be a dried liver. I think that's in this room. And then we're going to hit the grace. So I know we just got here, but we're already about to fight a dragon. <laughs> Literally just show up first thing, fight a dragon. Um, it is an ancient dragon, so let's see. I don't think we can even get a level with that many runes. No, we can't. We need about 160,000. I mean, you shouldn't have a problem with the dragons at this point. Um, we're going to use some freezing grease along with Bloodhound Fang tear this thing apart. Yo, I innately have enough FP now to summon that. That's awesome. Come on. Here it comes. So, you fought this plenty of times before. Basically just like Lana 6, except uh, a little bit less health. One thing I will say to be very cautious about is this thing has this, like, wing buffet thing where it'll uh, keep knocking you away over and over again with its wings. And it can knock you off and kill you, uh, you know, just via gravity if you're not careful with that. It's kind of an awkward arena to fight this thing in, so for the most part, I'm just, I'm just whacking away at it, you know, to try and get, get bleed off on it. This is the, the wing buffet thing I was warning you about. 
you can see just how far it knocked me away right there. And if you're, uh... Oh, no. Nope, don't get hit by the Ancient Lightning. You're, like, behind it when that happens. It's very easy to get blown right off the ledge. There's actually a couple of dragon fights in this area. This is probably the worst of them, just because of where we have to fight this thing. it off, but there we go, Tish got it. And we get a plus 25 smithing stone for dealing with that big old pain. Uh, so after that, we have the smithing stone 8, and then we have another loot over there, and then we have another race that's coming up. You know, I keep forgetting to use dragon wound grease on these things, and I really should. There's no reason not to use it. something. Where are you at? 23. So you're waiting on... I need six. One more eight, and I can get that fully upgraded. Go on and rest. We got uh, two beastmen in the next room. One of them is sleeping, so I'm gonna kill him first. See that guy. The hope is that you run for uh, the first one and then this one wakes up and ambushes you. You can see just how effective the Great Shield is here. I mean, they're pretty much just, they're bouncing off of it and get the counter attack in. And you obviously don't, you don't have to have, I, I want to clarify because I've had this for a minute, you don't need to have the 29 weight Great Shield. You know, you could use this. This is 13.5. I mean, the guard stability is lower, um, but you know, this, this weighs literally half the weight. So if we were to put this on, this is honestly like my go-to great shield for most content because I can spell parry with it as well. So I'm gonna use that for a little bit just to show that. Um, so two beast men, one a sleeping smithing eight, and onto the roof, enter the upper part of this area. Did I pick up the smithing eight in here? I didn't see. I was too busy talking about great shields to notice. Uh, we're gonna be popping out down there, so don't worry about that. Let's just head to the roof. At yeah, the smithing, I must have just grabbed it. Well, easy way to check. No, hang on. There are two to three, two beast men in the next room. One is the smithing eight and onto the roof. There should be a smithing eight here. You know what? It might have been a drop from one of those beast men. Hmm. Well, we'll have infinite smithing eight soon enough, so it's not really a concern. So up onto the rooftop we go. And we're gonna go in this part. Go around. Couple different beastmen lurking around here. You can see the same exact thing with a much lighter great shield. Uh, you can do this with even some medium shields, but great shields in general tend to blow enemies back a lot easier. I really like them. I mean, there's just something real satisfying about the uh, the shield counter style of play, you know? These ones you gotta be careful with. Smithing roof, few beastmen and loots, great grave on the northern end. We're dropping down there, but I just want to make sure we grabbed all of the loot that was up here. I think we did. Oops. 
that guy. Oh, that one. Now, if you go this way, just to kind of show where this all connects. That's the initial room. This is the lower room. We're just clearing out the upper pathway stuff first. that way. Now we're going to head on down and start clearing out stuff. We'll go out there last. Dragon Prayer Book. You get some really nice spells out of that. Um, I don't know if we're curious if we can actually just see see the spells looking at it. Let's see, where are you at? Uh, so Ancient Dragons, Lightning Spear. That's a single spear slam. It's very similar to the four to six double. Uh, and then Ancient Dragons, Lightning Strike is legitimately one of the best AOE abilities in the game. It's going to do, I believe it's six different arcs of lightning, and they expand outward from you. Uh, very, very, very good AoE spell. Capable of doing just tons of damage. But anyway, we're going to grab this. We're going to grab this, which will now give you access to seven and eight. So at this point, you can now buy all of the smithing stones you need to get your weapons up to 25. Uh, we're going to go out this side first, and then we're going to go back and do all that. So, uh, let's see. At, drop for caster, kill the beastmen. Left to right, uh, outside for rune 12. I'll grab a rune 12 outside? Oh no, never mind, we do outside here. This is just a rune 12. That. And uh, then down to the bottom, sweep for loot and beastmen. Go to the north end ball bearing. Don't rest, return south, and go down the elevator. on down. I mean, you can rest if you want, but we're, we're fine right now. Uh, let's see. Got an elevator right for a smithing eight and a dragon. And then the other path for the worm faces. I'm gonna actually try that, that stuff, that dragon grease. I feel like it's gotta be good against them, right? Uh, so you won't be able to summon a friend along for this, but this one won't have as much health as the last dragon did. This guy, by the way, it's just, you know, you can. all about head sniping, but on these guys, especially the fact that we're, like, fighting on a tight platform, do not like trying to bait certain attacks. Like, the head bait, the head bait's great, but you really need space to move while you're doing it. 
Uh, these dragons, they're always going to be 21,600 runes, at least on new games, so you do get a nice chunk of runes for killing them. It's just arguable if it's going to be worth to kill every single one of them. Oh, man, that was a little sketchy on that jump. There we go. Uh, for this next part, you might want to have some... Uh, actually, you know what? I have so much other stuff that I should use that I've not touched at all. I mean, I have a ton of that. I have a ton of, uh... I have, like, Exalted Flesh. I probably have a bunch of it by now, too. I always do that in these games. You get all of these things, and you just save them, and you never end up using them. And they're all just, like, things that would be good to have. You know, that's, that's a big stamina boost right there, the Pickled. This is going to be a physical attack boost. This is going to be a defensive boost. So we're going to put them all on. Um, and then what was I about to say to put on? Something I was just talking about and I lost track because I got sidetracked there. Ah, here we go. Juvenating boluses. We're going to be fighting some worm face dudes, so just having the boluses on, you know, just in the event that death buildup gets high will be useful. You all already know the drill with these guys. They're, you know, they grab you, they do the death stuff, etc., etc. Uh, ignore the left path for now. We're going to go that way in a little bit. Oh, oh. Crazy to me how strong that attack is. I mean, this weapon is just really strong in general. Good firmware update available. We'll get to that later. We have an especially big one over here. like almost no, nothing out in this little side area. But we're out here anyway. We're going to kill them all. It's like Pokemon, but instead of capturing, you're just murdering everything. Eight. Alright, now we're going to work our way back down that ladder. And we're going to go around and make our way over into that zone. Honestly, the only thing of value in this entire zone is like a little piece of loot by a gazebo. Well, I mean just like this little sub area, not, you know, the whole zone, obviously. Um, one, okay, it's the next tree that's behind. Virgil Bloom, let's see, Somber 9, uh, kill the 2, last one, Smithing 8, Virgil Bloom, and then we continue east and drop down. Uh, all the way to the east, there's one guarding Gravelstone, and then we can kill the ones in the middle to get a Smithing 8, Boluses, they can drop Poop. Uh, Glovewort Bell Bearing is at the Gazebo, which is what we want. The rest of this area is like pretty condensed and like non-stop fighting. This one one little part here just happens to be uh, you know, kind of open and lots of these things. Grab that. I mean, how could we function without our five gravel stone, right?
So this next part we can actually pull a summon out for. Um, we're just going to grab the, the Ghost Glove Wart first because, you know, in the event that we die, that's the most important thing. And there is a good chance you could die here. Keep in mind that, um, you know, we are fighting against stuff that you know, poops death out all over the place. That's actually the, uh, I don't think we've seen Death Blight happen until now, but that's the attack that I was saying that Wormface can do, that can almost instant kill you. Oh, I think it's terrifying, because, like, once it hits, honestly, you're, you're dead. There's no, uh, there's no surviving that. Oh, no, I don't have my thingy. I thought I had, hang on, let me change that. Well, looks like I gotta go down and beat your ass now. Uh, where is it at? Just Physic, man, that's so sad. Uh, Twiggy cracked, and then I want... Mm, stance break, charge attacks... Consecutive attacks, go stronger... Is Thorny cracked? Now I do charge attacks a lot, let's put that on. We're just gonna run back through and get to that thing and murder it. There's some enemies, obviously, that you might have to look out for, but... Especially if we're just running. Should have killed the big boy first. It's funny as we were doing perfectly fine. And the big one just got us. everything. I'll pop to Wondrous Fel yeah, Wondrous Flask when we get close. Thankfully it's a pretty short run back. See all the stuff trying to get me. stops. No, no, not, not the gobbles. I know it'll start doing that. No! Oh, I might be dead, dude. This thing might get me right here. Will I survive it? Uh, Tish, we could really use a hand here.
Jesus. What an annoying thing. Uh, okay. Let me look at the notes. We got the... After that, back to Tempest Facing Balcony, though. So we can just warp straight back. Whew. Um... Let's see. We can continue on a little bit. Though, actually, we have enough. Let's, um... I'm gonna go do some upgrades real fast. Um... do 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 I think if we got all the crystal tears, I think we're done with those. Uh, yes, that's done. And then you, we can, well, let me go buy 10 more of these real fast, then I'll upgrade my shield all the way. I think, I don't believe there's any crystal tears that we get in the Halley Tree area. Turn in the right one? I might have my bell bearings mixed up. Second. Uh, does we get another one in this zone? I thought that was the one that we. Um. Ah, uh, no. Gold skin. Gold skin is seven and eights. So that's the five and six. Got it, got it, got it. Okay. So a little bit longer till we get the, the last two, but that's okay. Let's hop on back over and continue. Godskin Duo is going to be next episode, but we can get close to them. Next Tempest Facing Balcony. Um, what I want to have on. Heavy load with that. With that for the time being. Get rid of some of this other loot I don't use. around. I haven't had a chance to touch you at all. Where are those bolts? Because I loaded up on uh, yeah, 600 of those. Those are good. Uh, anyway, so yeah, back at the Grace, we are going to continue. You can see some loot up there. We're going to get to all that stuff later. Then get to right about here. And you can see that dude. Now, I'm not sure if we can hit him from here, but we're going to try. Yes, we can. We don't need to kill him. We really just want to, you know, get his attention. Because this way he's gonna be, he's gonna come down. He's gonna be fighting us with all the other stuff. Um, and actually, before we deal with him, there's a lot of um, undead dudes in this area, so we're gonna go holy. We go holy on one of our things. Uh, ashes. Let's see, we have golden land, but we actually need like sacred blade, sacred blade, or. Shared order. Six seventy. It's fine. All right, same thing. Let's get his attention. This next area has a bunch of these dudes. We are just going to be... Um, we can kind of lure them out and fight them all over here. The biggest thing is you just don't want to get swarmed. Having a holy weapon, man, makes that so much easier. All right, use the pillar to draw them in. Take them down one by one. Loot up top. Loot down below. Uh, the loot up top was this guy. The loot down below was that guy. And run and jump. down for loot two beast men and then another grace like I said there's other stuff that oh, there's a whole I mean there's a lot of like 
uh, paths that loop around and all over the place here. So we're going to get all that stuff. It's just not going to happen immediately. Ignore that hole for now. Pretty long startup on that too, so it's usually not a concern. Gravel stone, and then Grace is right over there. Let's see. Jump back down to return and head on up. So, you can see. Oh, no. <laughs> that's not what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to jump across. And then um, that's going to take us into some of the other portions of that zone. That part. But since we died, let's grab this. Now let me go ahead and spend it. Like I said, I'm not worrying about a, any meta levels on this character. I'm just going to keep leveling. So um, I'd like to get up now to where I hit my thresholds without my rune. So let's go. Well, no, I would mine a little bit more mind. Let me get like two or three more points in mind first. Uh, and since we've reached the Dragon Temple, this is actually a pretty good spot to wrap properly. Because we still got the Godskin Duo. This area is quite long. It's definitely one of the longer dungeons. So... Let's wrap things up here. Uh, we will continue on with Furumazula in the next portion, and I will catch you all then.